I had a great trip up to Camp Narrows Lodge on Rainy Lake. At the end of the video, I'm going to talk about all the different lures and presentations that I used fishing this week in Canada. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hi, today I'm driving from Northwest Indiana to Sunset Country, Ontario. I'm going to Camp Narrows Lodge on the Northwest Arm of Rainy Lake. I believe Northwest Arm of Rainy Lake is probably one of the best drive-to destinations for not only walleye, but northern pike, smallmouth, and crappie. Um, once I get to the border, I'm going to cross the border to International Falls. Then it's about a 45-minute ride to the boat launch. And then from the boat launch, it'll be about a 20-minute boat ride into Camp Narrows Lodge. I've been coming to Camp Narrows Lodge for, I believe this is my eighth year. I come every spring and every fall. And we have exceptional trips every single time we come. I'm not expecting this trip to be any different. This is my first day of the trip. By far, the most productive lure is the, the rattle trap. I believe it's a three quarter ounce. Um, the biggest fish I caught today was a 39 inch northern. Uh, pre-spawn fishing on Randy Lake. These uh, fish are posted up on points getting ready to go in and spawn. I caught uh, probably 12 smallmouth on one spot within about 30 minutes. Beautiful fat fish. Fishing for smallmouth today. This is the bait that I'm using. It's a Kitex swim bait with a VMC Moon Eye jig. Catching smallmouth, they don't, they're not on the bed yet. They're just moving into the bays, but they're feeding like crazy. This is, uh, this is what's coming out of these smallmouth as I'm reeling them in. Pretty, uh, pretty comparable to the bait I'm using. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that for a while and, and see how it goes.
I told you at the beginning of the video I was going to talk about some of the lures that I used throughout the week this week at Rainy Lake at Camp Narrows Lodge. Um, one I talked about quite a bit is the rattle trap. This lure here, I've never tried it at Rainy Lake before, but I read a couple articles before I went and I figured I'd give it a try. I've always, I've always got a ton of uh, rattle traps in my box. So first day I started throwing the rattle trap, it did really good on Northern Pike. Crazy enough, he even caught walleye and I even caught smallmouth with it. So it was a great search bait, especially given the fact that the water was still a little bit cold when I got there and the fish weren't shallow yet. So they weren't really, there's a couple spots I found them stacked up, but in general they were spread out. So this was a really good search bait to try to find them. Along with using the rattle trap for fishing for northern, fishing for walleye, fishing for smallmouth. The other bait that I used for northern was this orange and black spinner bait. Um, caught quite a few on this. There's a lot of sections on Rady Lake where there's a lot of reeds that are popping up in sections. Um, so the rattle trap would get snagged a lot. Spinner bait would come right through the reeds. Really, really good productive bait for northern. As for the smallmouth, typically when I'm here, the, the fish are usually shallow. So you can't beat a black marabou jig. I caught probably, I don't know, maybe three or four fish with this this year, but this is typically a lot better in shallow water conditions. I could have went for, to a heavier one and casted it out farther, but I just felt that it took too long, it fish, fishes kind of slow, and I wanted to fish a little bit quicker and cover water. Um, the other baits that I used for smallmouth were the VMC Moon Eye Jig with a three inch grub. Basically used it in this color here. And then also for smallmouth and walleye, I caught a lot of fish on the VMC Moon Eye Jig with a three inch white grub. And nothing fancy on the grubs, the Cabela, Cabela's Action Series. Um, they're very reasonable, I've been using these for probably, I don't know, five or six years and they work really, really well. The other bait that I talked about in the video is, again, the VMC Moon Eye Jig. For whatever reason, I have a lot of good luck with that jig head. And this is a Kitek swim bait. Um, resembles bait fish. I mean, really, really good solid bait for smallmouth. For walleye this year, I use primarily what I use every year at Rainy Lake. And it's basically a combination between the, the VMC Moon Eye Jig and the three inch white grub and I really like the uh, the chartreuse too in the three inch with the VMC moon eye jig um, basically those are all the the baits that I use this week you really don't need to bring a ton of baits if it was a little bit later in the year you'd want to throw some top water also but I thought it was the water was just a little bit too cold the fish weren't active and active enough for the for the top water but if you have any questions about Camp Narrows Lodge or Rainy Lake or staying at Camp Narrows Lodge, go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please punch the like button. Thanks for watching.